Nothing like a giant mural to welcome Kawhi Leonard and Paul George back to Los Angeles, and nothing like a diehard Laker fan to let them know they picked the wrong squad. Hey guys, thanks for watching The Fumble. I'm Jackie Ray. Make sure you follow me on all things social media at jraythefanatic, and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to keep up with all the latest in sports news. The press conference announcing Kawhi Leonard and Paul George as the newest members of the LA Clippers happened yesterday. If you missed that press conference, then you need to hit that notification bell, but you can see all the best highlights from our coverage yesterday right here on The Fumble. The press conference means the dust has officially settled from the where will Kawhi go hoopla. And even though I think the 11th hour announcement was all-star level shady, Kawhi told ESPN Rachel Nichols, the race between the Raptors, Lakers, and Clippers came down to a final moment. How close were you to maybe going to one of the other two teams you considered? Um, I was very close, uh, real close. Uh, you know, um, when they presented the opportunity to play with Paul, it was, it was an easy, easy guess. Let's, let's get it going. While I personally love the move and I appreciate what the move has done to open up the Wild Wild West, I can't help but wonder why Paul George could seal the deal for the Clippers when LeBron James and AD couldn't seal it for the Lakers. In true Kawhi fashion, we may never know, but it could be a remake of what could have been. In 2010, the Indiana Pacers drafted Paul George, a year later drafted Kawhi Leonard, a move that had Paul George on edge. I'm not gonna lie, I was a little nervous just because, you know, we play the same position. Immediately it was like, all right, I need to work on something because they, they bring in reinforcing in right away. But it would have been amazing to see what we could have did in Indiana and what we could have accomplished. But now, here we are, eight years later. And while it might seem that the stars had to perfectly align to create this union, this dynamic duo says it didn't happen on a whim. The idea started, uh, you know, probably me playing in San Antonio and him being on the Pacers, and then, you know, I was trying to get uh, San Antonio to get him over with us. During his time in OKC, Paul George and the Thunder never made it out of the first round, and Paul says, quote, the initial plan was to give it another year, see what we could do, and I did that. We played another year, and it felt like we were just stagnant. Next thing was, let's move forward with other plans. I think a lot of us, even Laker fans, are truly excited about the upcoming season. For the first time in a really long time, we have a lot of healthy competition, especially in the West. And while my perfect world is one where the Clippers and the Lakers face off in the Western Conference Finals, I'm going to expose my soft spot and say, don't sleep on my hometown. Yes, that just happened. I put the Denver Nuggets all up in the mix because this is fun, right? This is why we watch, to see if the greats will rule over all or if the underdog will surprise everyone. Well, maybe not all of us. unveiling of the Paul George and Kawhi Muro, one Laker fan made sure to express his true disgust with the move Kawhi and Paul made. I don't know who this Laker fan, AKA Clipper hater is, but I do know I wanna sit right next to him when the Clippers and the Lakers first meet. I mean, this man is right though. This is Laker Nation. Fumble fam, I'm not even gonna ask you for some way too soon playoff prediction, so let's keep it simple. Who do you think will have the better record, Lakers or Clippers? Let me know in the comments below. Once again, I'm Jackie Ray, and thanks for watching The Fumble.